Hi, welcome to my channel. I am your Suresh. You are watching Erola Suresh YouTube channel. In this video, let's talk about theories of evolution. So watch this video completely without skipping. If you are visiting my channel for the first time, please subscribe to my channel and press on bell icon. Then you will get the notifications from my channel when I upload a video. And if you like this video, please share this video to your friends also and give your valuable comment. Okay, now let's look at the topic. Theories of evolution. What does evolution mean? Evolution means continuous changes takes place in organisms. The changes in organisms is evolution. Evolution is very slow process, continuous process and very much complex process. And evolution can be categorized into two. They are micro evolution and macro evolution. Micro evolution means smaller changes takes place in organisms in short period of time. So the changes takes place in organisms in short period, they are micro evolution. And macro evolution means larger changes takes place in organisms in a long period of time as a result of accumulation of all these smaller changes that is macro evolution. Okay. And regarding this evolution, so many theories were proposed. The very first theory regarding evolution was Lamarckism that was proposed by Jean Baptiste Lamarck. Now in this session, we learn the theory of Lamarck regarding the evolution. Actually in olden days, people used to believe that no changes occur in organisms. If any person talks about changes or evolution in organisms, they used to kill that person. In such a terrible situation, in such a dangerous circumstances, Jean Baptiste Lamarck was the very first person talked about changes in organisms that was evolution. And regarding evolution, he proposed a theory. That theory was inheritance of acquired characters. So inheritance of acquired character was the theory of evolution proposed by Jean Baptist Lamarck. This is also known as Lamarckism. And what he told in this theory? Now let's try to understand what was the theory of evolution. Inheritance of acquired characters. To understand this theory, we must understand the term acquired characters. Generally in organisms, there are two kinds of characters. The characters in organisms are classified into two. Inherited characters, acquired characters. Inherited characters, the characters which are inherited from parents to children. The characters which are transmitted from parents to children. The characters received by an organism from parents at the time of birth. They are called inherited characters. And acquired characters, the characters which are developed by an organism during its lifetime, they are acquired characters. So here Lamarck talks about acquired characters. What was the theory? Inheritance of acquired character. That means acquired characters are inherited from one generation to other generation. He believes that every organism develops some characters during its lifetime. These are acquired characters and these organisms pass on these acquired characters to next generations. This is what inheritance of acquired characters. So the inheritance of acquired characters leads to the formation of evolution. So acquired characters are becoming reason. Acquired characters are being responsible for formation of changes in organisms so that that leads to the process of evolution. And he gave an example for this theory, elongation of neck and forelimbs of giraffe. Once upon a time in the history, some thousands of years ago, the neck of the giraffe was equal to the neck of deer. But due to food shortage in that habitat, it was not able to get the food material. So that giraffe started stretching its neck and forelimbs towards the lower branches or the branches of the trees. So it continued stretching its neck and forelimbs towards the branches to get the food material. It continued stretching its neck and forelimbs up to some generations. So after some generations, the neck and forelimbs were elongated. So due to the continuous trials or due to continuous efforts, the giraffe got elongated neck and elongated forelimbs. These elongated neck and forelimbs were the acquired characters. Now what happened? This giraffe got some acquired characters. What were they? Elongated neck and forelimbs. And what happened? In next generation, the giraffe passed on these characters to next generations. So in next generation, that giraffe, baby giraffe, directly born with elongated neck and forelimbs. This is what inheritance of acquired character. Giraffe got elongated neck and forelimbs by continuous trials, acquired character, 
now these acquired characters are passed on to next generation so that in next generation that giraffe were born directly with elongated neck and four limbs so this is inheritance of acquired characters so he believes that due to the transfer of acquired characters from one generation to other generation that leads to the formation of changes or that leads to evolution process in organisms so this was the theory proposed by jean baptist lamarck in contrast to lamarckism augustus wiesmer conducted experiments on rats he cut the tails of the rats and he observed that the offsprings were born with normal tails not with cut tails he repeated the experiment up to 22 generations of rats and after 22 generations also he noticed that the offsprings are born with normal tails not with cut tails so he concluded that bodily changes whatever the changes takes place in organisms that bodily changes are not at all transferred from one generation to other generation lamarck told that bodily changes are the acquired characters are passed on to next generation but here according to augustus wiesmann these acquired characters or these bodily changes are not at all transferred to next generation these were the experiments conducted by augustus wiesmann so this is about the inheritance of acquired characters proposed by jean baptist lamarck very first theory of evolution okay friends thank you for watching